Hi pet lovers, thanks for joining Gina's grooming channel. Guys, this is Minnie the Doodle, and she came in today with a gunky muzzle. You can see all that gunk, and now what is that gunk? It's probably food, stuff from chew bones, maybe some dirt, maybe she put her nose into a hole of dirt. So it's all collected and created these kind of hard dreadlocks that are stuck together. So I know your instinct would be, hey, let's go ahead and shampoo this up, get that going. But really what we need to do is first separate those clumps, and I'm gonna show you how how to do that gently and effectively. Now we are going to go through all of the muzzle. We're going to be lifting up and we're going to be using a slicker brush and a comb. So a metal comb that has two different types of spacing of teeth. Now I start with the slicker brush and I'm holding the roots for all of this work because the muzzle is a really sensitive place for pups. So I'm going to be holding the roots uh, of the hair so I'm taking section by section and making sure that I'm going through and separating the coat and removing whatever gunk I can with my brush. Now guys know that the muzzle has lots of layers so once I'm done with my brush I'm going to go through with my medium spaced size of my comb okay, and I'm going through and flicking using my other hand to hold the root of where I'm flicking. This allows me to put a little more pressure into the flick because some of these gunky groups of hair right, are really, really stubborn and we need to get through them without hurting the pup, obviously. You can see Minnie's not feeling any of that and I'm going through, again, holding that root and pulling out that gunk with my metal comb, making sure that that coat is really nice and separated and then lifting up, making sure I don't miss any spots of gunk or where that hair could be uh, clumped up together. Okay, other side, this side wasn't too bad. I'm going through with my brush. I can get through most of it with my slicker brush, but I have to make sure again, hold that root and lift section by section. Make sure that nothing is hidden underneath. It's not good enough just to brush the outside of the muzzle. You really have to get in there, lift up that coat and be really, really thorough. And of course, check that chin. Chin is very susceptible to matting and also getting these gunky little groupings. And then I go ahead and wash and rinse like normal. If the gunk is really bad, I will shampoo and wash the face first, let it sit for a while, and then rinse like normal, lifting up, making sure that I got everything, everything in that rinse, and then shampoo again if there's anything remaining. And for our drying phases, so when I have the stand dryer on Minnie's face, I'm gonna go through with my finer tooth comb and make sure that nothing, nothing uh, was missed in the bath and I'm lifting up. Now, if something was missed in the bath, if there's like a little bit of gunk, this is where I would put some waterless shampoo on maybe my brush, brush it through, make sure that that odor is removed, make sure that I brush through that gunk. We just have to be really super thorough while we're drying. And there she is, all done with a clean muzzle. Looking good, Minnie. Now she is ready to go ahead, get that muzzle dirty, doing what dogs do, chewing on bones, sticking her nose into holes, but that's how we love them. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for that thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing, and thanks for your time. We will see you soon.